The forward algorithm starts from the beginning and computes alpha t of i, which represents the probability of seeing all observations up to time t and being instead i at that time. So, if we are at day 2 and considering the sad state, alpha 2 of sad tells us the probability of seeing the red hat on day 1, the green hat on day 2, and ending up in the sad state on day 2. We calculate this by taking all the ways we could have gotten to this point. We could have been sad on day 1 and stayed sad, or we could have been happy on day 1 and transitioned to sad. And for each path, we multiply the previous alpha value by the transition probability and the emission probability of seeing Ren given sad. And then we add all these parts together. The Packard algorithm works in the opposite direction. Starting from the end and working backwards, computing beta t of i, which represents the probability of seeing all future observations from time t plus 1 to the end, given that we are in state i at time t. The initialization is simple. Beta equals 1 for all states because there are no future observations to consider. Then we work backwards by considering all the states we could transition to next, multiplying by the appropriate transition and emission probabilities, and summing them up. Now, here is where the magic happens. When we multiply alpha t of phi and beta t of phi together, we get the probability of the entire observation sequence and being in state i at time t. And if we normalize this by dividing by the sum over all states, we get gamma t of i, which is exactly what we wanted. The probability of being state i at the time t given all the observations.